Hi. Hey. I'm here. I went back to working with the preschoolers full time today. And I am so tired. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you all are doing well, um, and I just thought I would share a quick fun video featuring all of my pets that are not mammals or fish, like, because I feel like it's been a long time since we've talked about my turtles or my hermit crabs or anybody like that, so I hope you enjoy it. I am working on, like for real, real working on the, um, Cupid series, and I started filming the first uh, of that, just kind of an introduction, which is really fun. Um, and I still have a pizza burn on my face. That's right. I still have a burn on my face from when I was eating pizza. And I got too excited and it was out of the oven. I tried to take a bite. She's burnt my face. Yeah, that's the thing. It's the thing that I did. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. It means a ton to me. And have a wonderful day. This is how I know that I need to provide some more climbing walls for my hermit crabs. And yes, yes, this is actually up to eight inches of thighs. Clearly, not enough climbing places for them. Sorry, guys. The morning geckos are doing well in their enclosure. I just freaked them out turning their light on at night. I feel bad. You can see this one is kind of turning a dark shade. Uh, that is because he is a little... She, actually, they're all girls. That is because she is a little bit uncomfortable because I just shined the light on her real suddenly. Down here, less scared, more freshly molted. You can see this guy is very light. She just molted not that long ago. Sorry, these guys are pathogenic, pathogenic, which means that they reproduce by laying eggs that are genetic clones of themselves. So they're really genderless and female, but I um, often accidentally call them males. Um, can see the hard water marks on there I need to wipe off from frequent misting. They always have a water dish. They eat crested gecko diet and fruit flies. Flightless fruit flies sometimes, because I'm kind of squeamish about them. I'm outside with Mr. Turtleson. I'm letting him actually swim for just a minute or two before I drain this tub a bit more and just let him have a relaxing soak. <clears throat> a lot of people don't realize that box turtles are actually semi-aquatic and so no, he can't swim all the way around a lake or something, but um, letting them swim occasionally for a few minutes is really good exercise for them. And then this is how I drain it for just giving him a good soak. He kind of has to be on his tippy toes a little bit, but he can definitely stand, but he can also fully submerge himself in the water and not leave him here outside doing that for about 20 minutes. And then I let him alternate between walking around the yard walking on the street with me with supervision and me you know not letting him get anywhere or if I'm really busy and have to do a lot of stuff in the yard I will put him in here to dry off and uh, when it's nice out or 
because it's not nice, nice out today, it's like 98 degrees, but um, whenever it's warm enough out, I try to get both the turtles uh, a couple of hours outside um, a week because just natural light is so, so, so good for them. They get the same amount of UVB and what they need from the sun in about 15 minutes outside as they do in eight hours under an artificial UVB bulb. And here's Tiny the turtle. You'll remember her as the baby I rescued from Craigslist a few months ago. Stay safe, save pets. She just got her soak and now she is out here getting her sun. Tiny is not as well um, as used to me as Mr. Turtleson. I've had him about seven years and Tiny, you know, a couple of months. So I don't take her on walks like up and down the block with me like I will Mr. Turtleson. But I will walk around in the yard with her when I am not doing other chores. If you have pet turtles and you're taking them out with you, you cannot take your eyes off of them for a second unless they are in an enclosure. Hey, Tiny. And also I have my mystery snails. They are doing this tank. Um, one of them's, let's see, one of them's hanging out at the, on these plants up here. Uh, they did not do very well in the other beta tank, and I will talk about that soon. But the mystery tanks, the mystery tanks, mystery tank. The mystery <laughs> snails in this tank are doing very good. Pepper, this isn't about you. This isn't about you. It's all about me. It's about me. Pepper, it's not about you. It's not about you. Oh my goodness. Love your pets, and they will love you back. Especially the little yappy doggies. <laughs> 